from Minnesota's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News. Is this nice? A dose of spring indoors. We're live at the Galleria <laughs> this morning. They've moved the flower show that was so popular at the Macy's in downtown Minneapolis or the Marshall Fields and mm -hmm. the Dayton's before that. But of course, that is closed now, so they relocated it to the Galleria. We'll get our first look at that from Ali Lucia in just a couple of minutes. I love seeing I'm, that. The yes. tulips that are everywhere. I mean, in the stores. Inside. And yes. I'm, I'm happy that good. they found a new home Yes, for that absolutely. Show We've got more spring magic in the air. Oh. It's inside. Yeah. But Ali, you have the best assignment of the day, I think. I really do. That's right, Jason. I am live inside the Galleria for the floral experience. We are going to tell you all about these beautiful flowers when we come back. I think we all need a little reassurance that spring is actually here, and you can get that at the Galleria in Edina. So many fresh flowers and a true ray Aww. of spring. Allie Lucia out there this morning with all the flowers. Hey, Allie. Hey, Jason. Why, thank you. You're so sweet. I can tell you it may not feel like spring outside, but certainly does here inside the Galleria. The aroma of all of the flowers here in this mall is just absolutely breathtaking. And just right when you walk in, there's even a shopping bag with a beautiful display of flowers. I'm right by the Pottery Barn entrance of the Galleria. And I am joined by Dale Bachman, the chairman and CEO of Bachman's, who is responsible for this beautiful floral experience inside the Galleria Mall. Good morning. Well, thank you. And I'm just one of the team. It's been Galleria, just wonderful partners to work with. And Ali, you could try and fill up that shopping bag here at the Galleria <laughs> if you'd like. I would love to. It might take flowers. me a while. <laughs> but we're glad you're here, and I hope lots of people come and enjoy the show. It's here until April 8th. Um, really thousands of blooms and eight special butterflies for the kids to look for as well. One is actually right behind Deal, and that's something that children can look for. There are eight different throughout the mall. But Dale, what went into the planning of this? Because this is the first time you guys have done something like this inside the Galleria. Well, we got a wonderful invitation to uh, to visit with the folks at the Galleria after Art and Bloom a year ago. So we've been talking since about June of last year and uh, the planning took place and here we are standing in just one of the many gardens throughout the entire run of the Galleria. I was here over the weekend and couldn't believe how busy it was, how big the crowd were taking the action in there aren't really lines you can kind of walk walk through go shopping stop and see the flowers but how many different types of flowers are here well there's over a hundred different types of plants you know from hardy Minnesota uh, varieties that you can grow in your garden to tropicals like bird of paradise and bromeliads and things that we can grow in our homes as indoor blooming plants uh, wonderful ideas for container gardening as well down by crate and barrel so lots of ideas well dale i'm excited to see the rest of it i've just gotten a little preview here on this end i'm going to walk over because if you head out to the gallery and you have questions about things you can actually text spring to 313-131 and it will tell you all about the floral arrangements here wendy eisenberg is the gm of the gallery good morning good morning so i think a lot of people there's been a lot of construction going on at the gallery but it's now complete it is and complete. people sometimes don't know necessarily where to park and that there is a ramp available Wendy. there is a gallery parking ramp and good point it's located right behind the weston shopping center and we have over 900 spaces in that parking ramp another tip for people when they come to the flower show is to take advantage of our free valet parking. We have valet parking during the entire flower experience and that will run through April 8th. Is this something that you guys hope to continue, a tradition that you hope to continue at the Galleria? Yeah. Absolutely. We we are just over the moon on this whole experience here. Um, the retailers are getting behind it with their merchandise and menu items and having a lot of fun with even the decor in their own stores. So there's lots, lots to see. Well, Wendy, thank you for joining us this morning. So again, this runs through April 8th. And if you are in the area, maybe looking for a spot to get lunch or some coffee, a great spot to check out, especially right now because it's not as warm as maybe we would like it to be, Jason and Kim. Oh yeah, no question about it. It's the best place to see flowers in town uh, right now, for sure. Allie, thank you. If you're looking for a sign of spring, 
Got to go indoors, you I think. You do, yeah. yes. Allie has the right idea. She's at the Galleria where spring is in the air. Allie. Hi, Kim. Good morning to you and good morning to everyone at home. As you can see, I'm having a little tea this morning and we are live inside the Galleria. We're going to tell you all about a floral experience when we come back. Spring is here, but it hasn't really felt like it no, yet. No, it sure hasn't. One place where spring is in the air, the Galleria in Edina. That's where Allie is live this morning. And Allie, I've been watching your Instagram feed. The flowers and the creative displays all over the Galleria are unbelievable. Jason, they are absolutely stunning. So much color here inside the Galleria. We are right kind of in the Good Earth Atrium, so more at the center of the Galleria. And really, no matter where you walk in the mall, you will see beautiful colors. And maybe you're looking for a spot to have some lunch, some tea, breakfast. Well, the Westin at the Galleria is actually offering up tea from one to four every day during this flower show. The flower show is called a floral experience because spring is in the air. So that's why I was trying out the tea and you can, of course, maybe get some scones too. But Dale Bachman is with me this morning because, you know, he's one of the many people who have been working hard to get this thing ready. And it looks absolutely stunning, Dale. Well, thank you. And you're surrounded by our gardeners too. We're here from about four in the morning till eight to freshen up things and make it look good for the gallery of guests. And this is the atrium, but I guess it looks like a conservatory to me. And we added a, a beautiful butterfly tree. And I think you're smelling the jasmine too. I can smell it. It's, it's amazing how everywhere you walk, you kind of have a different aroma. And I really can smell that jasmine. But how long does it take to prepare for something like this? Well, we've been working with the Galleria since June of last year. So uh, the earliest lead time for the flowers, we have to place the bulb stock order uh, July and August because those we have to force in the greenhouse through the winter. And we've got tulips and hyacinths and daffodils. And for those bulbs, we replace those about halfway through. So it's always fresh. You used to do the flower show at Macy's and now it's moved over here, but kind of a fresh new look in terms of oh, what we're seeing. A total new experience for the Galleria and for Bachman's. And our team just did a great job. Galleria, great partners. This is a very special place. It's evolved over the years, and we started at the east end, and for us, the finish line was the west end, and we made it. Well, Dale, congratulations. Wendy Eisenberg is the general manager here at the Galleria, and this thing goes until April 8th, and you guys are open on Easter. We are. That's something the show must go on, so we will be open on Easter Sunday. All seven of our restaurants will be open, and we also have select retailers that will be open too. So if people are looking for a place to go for Easter brunch, they don't feel like cooking, this is a great spot to take in some color, it's some flowers, and maybe even eat too. Absolutely, or after church, after you're done at home with your family, come on out to the flower show and enjoy it. Well, Wendy, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, there you have it. If you want to check out any pictures or really see what this looks like, we do have more information on our Facebook page. And hey, maybe you're just looking to take a lunch break today. This is a great spot. I was here on Sunday. The crowds. Wow, there were so many people here just taking in the flowers, Jason and Kim. Absolutely. I think it shows that we're all starved. For yes, a we spring. are. We are. Thanks, Allie.